Maria Nieves of Nicaragua. Hell Testimony Maria Nieves Hell Testimony from YouTube Maria describes what she saw when she was taken to hell with Jesus. Hell smelled like humidity and spoiled water. There were different rooms and this is what she saw. In those rooms, she saw her aunt who worshipped idols. Her aunt was covered with flames and her flesh was being burnt. Her mother who worshipped witchcraft was in hell. She also saw her mother undergoing the same torture. She asked for mercy for her mother and Jesus said no. Neither idolaters, nor sorcerers, nor adulterers, nor fornicators have any right to enter the kingdom of God. Demon, some are shaped like humans, others are disfigured and have their eyes in different places than where they should be. Some have two eyes, others have one eye, others have no eyes. You could smell burnt flesh, rotting flesh. Adulterers, men were in a room with women wearing sexy clothes. The men would try to fall on. The women and the women would turn into demons and laugh at them. The men's flesh would be torn and become putrid and they would run away. Then the women would become sexy again. And the men would come back and it would be repeated. She saw a multitude of people as many as would fit a stadium and they were fighting with each other. Demons would come into the crowd and torment them. The people in the stadium were liars, people with jealousy, and criticizers. This is what happens to them. Teenagers, there was a large play yard or gymnasium. I saw gang members and they were fighting, hitting bats to heads, hitting each other with chains, insulting each other, steal weapons, and stabbing each other with sharp objects. The demons were in there and were tearing the hearts out of the teenagers with their claws. There were many bars with chairs. Some groups with women, they were drinking mixed drinks with ice. Everything looked normal, then when they tried to take a drink, they found that the drink was made of acid and it would burn their face, their throat, their flesh, and their stomach. The people wanted so much to drink the beer or mixed drink and they were in pain but every time it would burn them and they would catch fire and they would be tormented. Demons would torture them. Demons would push them. Many age groups and there were many young people, they had knives, glass, and cutting. Themselves, they tried to commit suicide and they kept stabbing themselves, cutting themselves. With glass, but they couldn't die. She started to pass out for seeing so much desperation from seeing. Young people try to commit suicide but couldn't die. There was a nightclub with horrible music, the floor was not a floor, but it was made of fire. She saw her family, but she also saw herself. People were dancing to horrible music, but they danced on fire. If she didn't give herself to Jesus, then this is where she would have gone. Demons would torture them and pull the arms off the people and tear their flesh. Rapists were also there, people were getting their necks broken and they were stabbed by knives. Getting burnt and their flesh torn apart. She begged to leave and Jesus put a passport in her hand and said she could go. She saw affliction and desperation. Maria wants to tell all young people that dancing, liquor and drugs bring you nothing but torment, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year because hell is real. Don't just go to church once a week. Then go home and continue ignoring Jesus for the rest of the week. You need to build a relationship with Jesus. Learn the gospel and speak the gospel to others. Hell is real, and it's painful. Introduce your children to the Bible. Tell them Bible stories. This testimony from Maria Nieves is translated from Spanish to English. Source Discerning THEVOICEOFGod.com